Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I will be expl explaining about Azure DevOps CI/CD. CI/CD is basically con continuous integration and continuous deployment. In this tutorial, I will be explaining uh, creation of pipelines and the release pipeline. And in the release pipeline, the code will be deployed into the Azure Blob Storage. Firstly, uh, we need to create a pipeline. This will be continuous integration. So, it has a repositories from where you can fetch the code. So, I had a sample uh, code in the GitHub repository. So, I'm copying this one. So it will be asking your git repository password, enter it. So it will show the what are the repositories available. Then select the sample code. Upload and install. Then you need to give Azure portal credentials. I have selected .NET application. So this is the YAML file. Basically, uh, in this YAML file, you need to add uh, some more code such that it will be uh, the executable files will be deployed it will be executable file will be built in the rt craft staging directory save and run Okay, now the pipe pipeline is running. You can see here. It will be running. and you can see in your git repository uh, it will be creating the yaml file which is generated by azure and you can see uh, the azure dot pipelines dot yml which was be which was uh, created by azure devops and here we go uh, the pipeline was built successfully so this uh, pipeline uh, will be building your code whenever you do any commit any any changes happen in the git repository now go to the release pipeline it will be uh, pushing the code into the any uh, and uh, uh, azure app services it can be either azure app services or blob storage and this tutorial will be showing up the blob storage click on your pipeline empty job select task there is option azure azure file copy click on add select it click on uh, source go to the pipeline 
you need to select the code latest version click on bin so the code the dlls will be built in the will be there in the release folder and your azure subscription azure blog storage account and container name save it then go to the pipeline enable trigger so whenever the pipeline uh, gets built it automatically push you into block storage save it and release that's it the CICD is done let's have one comment then we can understand so i'm committing the code think it will be code will be pushed into azure blog when I mean, git uh, remote repository sorry we are in the dev branch i'm switching into the master branch Firstly, we need to pull the Azure uh, YML file which is created by Azure DevOps. Yes, we got the Azure YML file. Now, now we will be pushing the code as soon as we core we gets pushed into git repository azure pipeline will be triggered let us see so we got the code push into git repository and if you are new to the git uh, i will be uh, in a previous video i will be sh sharing the link in the description you can watch that if you are new to the git and now you can see yes the pipeline gets triggered now this pipeline will be building our code after that it goes to the release pipeline then as soon as it will was succeeded it will be uh, pushed our code push our code to azure blob storage we'll wait for some time i'm pausing the video here you can see uh the azure pipeline Build our code successfully, then uh, the release pipeline will be triggered. Here you can.